Mr. Chairman, uh, congratulations to all the nominees. Thanks for being here. Judge Wise, let me just start with you. So as I understand it, you don't think that there, there really is any clear-cut distinction between male and female as biological categories. Is that correct? That is not correct. That's what you wrote. Sorry, that is not correct. Well, that's what I you wrote. I'm, look, I'm, I'm reading your article, your Time Magazine article. D just to be clear, you wrote this while you were a sitting judge, 2017? You were on the bench? That is correct, after okay. a case I had. Right. So interesting choice to be writing opinion pieces about your cases. But in any event, you say that controversial pieces of legislation enacted in the last two decades rely on a clear-cut interpretation of sex, what I just asked you. But you say that that's wrong. In fact, gender is an intricate continuum and not two tidy boxes. That's what you say. So have you changed your opinion? You just gave me a different answer. I believe that generally speaking, there are two sexes, male and female, that are designated by a doctor at birth, and that that applies to the vast majority of people. But that laws that are based on that distinction are impermissible. That's what you say in this article. Is that correct? That's still your view? That is not what I say. Really? You say that if there is, a, 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 for instance, a law that requires a distinction between male and female in bathrooms, that the judge, judges cannot, pro, cannot apply that law with any consistency, can't co apply it consistent with equal protection. Uh, there, are, there are no, what is it? Uh, it's virtually impossible for judges to consistently apply a law that permits or prohibits conduct based on whether someone is a man or a woman. So the, all, all bathroom laws that require biological sex, that designate bathrooms based on biological sex are impermissible? That is not the position that I took in the article. That's what but it says. It's impossible for judges to consistently apply a law that per permits or prohibits conduct based on whether someone is a man or a woman. And you specifically cite bathroom laws as an example of this. In fact, you criticize the then Trump administration's designation of gender-based bathrooms. Right? Sounds like you've made up your mind on a lot of things, but I just want to get clear on this because this is an important issue, certainly to people in my state. It's so, very so you think issue. that you think that bathroom designation, same with locker rooms, I guess, girls' locker rooms, impermissible. Biological men have to be permitted into girls' locker rooms. That is absolutely not what I said. In that my is record. absolutely the import and the takeaway of your piece. You suggest at least three different constitutional problems with any gender-based laws, including specifically bathroom laws. You write about it. Equal protection violation, due process, void for vagueness. I was making a list as I was reading through. You, you say that our biological variability means that a two-bathroom, even two-sex-based approach is inadequate. Judges cannot apply it. So if Title IX is interpreted to protect women's sports, biological women playing sports with other biological women, it's unconstitutional? Senator. That's a yes or no. I was referring to the five babies born a day that doctors have challenged. No, you wrote an article that is extremely broad that pronounces on a range of issues and pronounces quite definitively. What's this comment at the end of your article about the fact that judges must see the world through a secular lens, and when legislators blur the lines of church and state to enact laws that permit or prohibit conduct based on biological gender as only male or female, they place an impossible burden on the judiciary. What's that mean? The distinctions between male and female are a violation of church and state? Judges have to be able to administer these laws if the direction and, and I have to tell you, I work really hard to get it right, to do exactly what Congress tells me to do and the legislature tells me to do. And as a result, if a doctor finds it difficult to identify at the moment of birth for certain children... Is a, but, is, is a law that distinguishes between male and female a violation of church and state? You say when legislators blur the lines of church and state and enact laws that permit or prohibit conduct based on biological gender as only male and female, they place an impossible burden on the judiciary. So this is a First Amendment violation? 
if what you are telling judges is that in order I'm to I'm not make telling you anything. I'm reading you your comments, and I am asking you if you are still committed to these, and it sounds like you are. I have to tell you, I think these positions are insane. I think the idea that laws based on the distinction between male and female are a violation of church and state is insane. Totally insane. I think the idea that laws that would say women's locker rooms are protected from biological men, that those are impermissible, that's, that's insane. But that's what you say in this article. You're going to have to recuse yourself in a lot of cases, aren't you? Will you recuse in, in every case involving biological sex if you are confirmed? Senator, respectfully, that is not what the article says. You have pronounced on all of these issues. Will you recuse yourself in any case involving Title IX, biological sex, challenges to locker rooms, girls' sports, bathroom bills? All of those things are covered in this article that you wrote while you were a sitting judge. Don't you think that was impermissible? Will you recuse? Let's get an answer to that. Senator, your time is expired. Will you recuse? I did not take a position as to those issues that you have raised. You took a position on all of these things, and your position is insane, totally insane. I will absolutely not vote for you. There's not a world in which I could support you. I can't believe you have been nominated. And if you are confirmed, which I hope will not happen, you absolutely must recuse across all of these cases or stand in violation of the Code of Judicial Conduct. I'm shocked you're sitting here today.